Como go over complexity using Prolog. This is uh, episode number four of the series. In this episode, what we'll be doing is we'll be going over the solutions to the homework problems. But first, as usual, let's pay homage to the honor roll. Once again, I was completely amazed at how many people are actually doing the homeworks for this uh, series. Uh, as you can tell by now, you know, we're doing the real thing here. This is the real McCoy. We're not pulling any punches. We're not doing any shortcuts. This isn't the Reader's Digest Convinced version. Uh, this is the real thing. And um, it's proven to be completely impossible to overestimate the tenacity and abilities of, of my audience. I think I'm really blessed by having a very good audience. Thanks so much, guys. And uh, once again, let me know what we can do to uh, make this uh, more uh, friendly for women. Uh, please don't make me implement uh, To Be Serious's proposal. Uh, she suggested that I dress up in a uh, leather, uh, in, or in a feather boa, actually, and uh, dance around naked. So you don't want to see this. <laughs> At any rate, let's uh, proceed to the homework assignments now. Basically, uh, the... The uh, problem entailed, you know, typing in a genealogy which was bushy enough to give you uh, some cousins, and then right on the command line, something that you could type out, type in, which would uh, give you great grandparents, siblings, and cousins. All right. So without further ado, let's go over to the uh, terminal and uh, try it out. Okay, let's uh, continue just for fun on this genealogy of Jesus that we're working on here. Right. This Joseph is the father of Jesus, and. Um, well, Joseph really didn't begat Jesus, right? But Mary sure did, right? So let's put in a line for Mary. Begat Mary Jesus, right? Now, we need to make this bushy enough to include some cousins. How are we going to do that? Well, let's take a clue from the Gospel of uh, Luke, right? Luke actually says that Jesus and uh, John the Baptist were uh, second cousins, right? Uh, this is a rather campy picture of Jesus being uh, baptized by John the Baptist. And... Um, so let's take our cue from that, right? So it turns out that uh, there were two cousins. One was Mary, the mother of Jesus, and there was another cousin, uh, Elizabeth, who was the mother of John the Baptist. All right? Now, um... Since these two are cousins, we have to link them up, right? We have to find a grandparent. The definition of cousin is um, basically you have the same grandparent, and it's not you or your uh, siblings, right? So we have to find we have to fill in the gaps here between Mary and Elizabeth. We have to find up to the grandparents of Mary. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, the uh, canonical gospels don't tell us, but there is an apocryphal gospel called the uh, Proto Evangelon of James which uh, didn't make it into the uh, New Testament canon, but it does give us some information. Um, it, it did influence uh, developing church doctrine, uh, specifically the perpetual virginity of Jesus and uh, the Immaculate Conception, and also church iconography and things like this. Um, and the Protovangelon of James tells us that Mary's mother was a woman by the name of Anna. It's kind of Greek for, for Hannah, but she's usually just called St. Anne. So we'll say um, St. Anne, right? Okay, so we've got to the mother now. Now we need to go to the grandparents. Um, Protoevangelion James doesn't help us here, but there was another uh, uh, really, really old church dude by the name of uh, Father John Eck who claimed to know who Anna's parent was. And he says the mother of Anne was a woman by the name of Emerentia. Okay. Now, Emerentia was then the, the grandmother of Mary. And Emerentia, is, in addition to having uh, Anne, Emerentia also had another child. Oh, oops, I turned these around. That's what's known as a bug, by the way. Emerentia had another daughter by the name of Sobe. Uh, John Eck doesn't tell us this, by the way. This is... This information is provided by uh, Saint Hypotelus. Tells us this. And uh, Sobe was the mother of Elizabeth. All right, so if I haven't done something terribly wrong here, 
uh, we, we should have uh, filled out the gaps here, right? So Mary's mother was Anne. Anne's mother was Emerentia. Emerentia also had a daughter by the name of Sobe. Sobe had a daughter by the name of Elizabeth. And so that means Mary and Sobe should be cousins, right? So let's try it out here. Let's uh, see if we can make it work. First of all, we'll compile our, uh, our selection here, right? All right. Now, so to do the begat thing, you just stack it up like this, right? Begat uh, parent. Cousin one. Let's, let's have cousin one and cousin two variables hold the cousins afterwards, right? So now we have to go to the grandparent. All right. And now from the grandparent, we go back down to the aunt or the uncle, right? English doesn't have a gender-neutral word for this, so I'll just type it like that. Okay, but here's the, here's the key, the missing piece of information I left out, right? Your aunt or your uncle, in order to be your aunt or your uncle, they can't be your parent, right? So let's ex express that fact like this. Parent is unequal to your aunt or your uncle. Right. All right. And now, but the kids of your aunt or uncle are guaranteed to be your cousins, right? All right. So if we haven't done anything wrong, this should give us what we're looking for. Let's see what we got here. No. <sighs> Looks like I mistyped something. This is a. Uh, I'm going to leave this in here. I'm not going to cut this out. This is uh, what's known as debugging here. So let's see what, what, uh, how this worked here. This is, you probably saw a few of these yourself here. Uh, see the slash 1 versus slash 2 here? One of these guys, I forgot to put a uh, person. Oh, look, it's right there. This is your cousin too, right? I left out the most important part. How could I do that? Now let's see if it works. Ho, ho! Cousin 1 is Mary... Cousin two is Elizabeth. Woohoo! Um, now you notice uh, you'll get multiple solutions here, right? Cousin one is Elizabeth, and uh, cousin two is Mary here. The first solution started from Mary and went up to the grandmother and then went back down to Elizabeth. The second solution started from Elizabeth and went to Mary. So you get one of these solutions for every way you can actually prove this in the database, right? So there you go, guys. I hope this helps. Uh, next uh, lesson, we will be talking more about how to define um, cool stuff in Prolog. See you then.